Adventures. So I'm going to show you how to set up the PX4 for the PC. I'm going to go step by step and tell you exactly what you need to make this work. So let's get started. Alright guys, so here I have the things that you're going to need on the desk. So first of all, you're going to need the PX4 headsets. And secondly, you're going to need the Bobo cable. Which is the big thick one, not the other one. The other one is the 360 track cable, so please don't confuse those. So this is a little bit bigger. So, for PC, this is all you need. As well as for mobile, this is all you need. All you need is the mobile cable and the headset. Okay, so next, what you want to do, before you turn it on, let's plug in the mobile cable. Now, this side has to go in the headset. So, let's grab the headset and turn it around so it will be facing the right way all right now on the left the cuff ear cuff underneath we're going to insert that right there now the other end of the cable we're going to put that into our pc mic jack or headphone jack mine's over here Mine's actually a headphone jack, because I don't have a mic jack. And that's it. That's really what you need to set up. Now, what you got to do next is turn it on. Here's the power button. Alright, and note to self, it doesn't matter if your PS4 is turned on or your 360 or your Xbox One and it's paired up. It doesn't matter. Don't worry about it. The transmitter can be on and connected, but it doesn't matter. This will still work even though the transmitter is plugged in. For you guys that know what I'm talking about. Um, and something else I want to show. Just in case your mic is not working, your mic is removable. All you got to do is pull it out. And there you go. Sometimes you, if you hear a little, like, sh um, shock. Not shock, but, you know, static. Yeah, static. All you gotta do is blow on it and blow on here. And then it should be good. Now, insert this again. And now you shouldn't be able to hear static. It's all good. Don't worry about it. It's It was meant to be removed and, you know, I guess, you know, just to fix it. But yeah, but that's it. Alright guys, now I'm on my computer on my desktop screen. Now, all you gotta do is next is configure the PX4 headset with your PC. So, first thing you want to do is go to your recording sound. And you can do that by going to the bottom right corner of your PC screen and where the volume button is. Right click it. Now, you're going to want to open playback devices. Okay. So now, make sure that the playback is set to your speakers and that your speakers are working properly. Okay, my speakers are working. Alright, let's go to recording. Alright, so as you guys can see, I'm going to first show you off how it should look like after you have set it up. Um, um, so, as you guys can see right now, I do have my PX4 on and I am using it to talk to you guys. And you guys can see that the headset mic is enabled and the level is rising every time I talk. As well as my internal mic, which is my laptop mic. So, both of them are working properly. So, let's reset everything to show you exactly what I did to make this work. All right, so let's disable this. All right, now let me do it again. So this is fresh new. All right, so this is the thing you're gonna need to do. Right click on the volume button. Playback devices. Make sure your speakers are working. Just, it doesn't really matter. I'm just, I hope it works so you guys can hear the sound. Uh, let's go to recording. Now, your headset mic should be showing right now. 
it should be showing on your screen right now as unavailable or disabled, right? So all you gotta do is right click it and enable it. Now, after you enable it, right click it again, go to properties, and under device usage, make sure it says use this device. Now, go to the listen tab. This is preference. If you want to be able to listen the playback through the headset, then this is where you want to check. But I don't think you really need that. So, let's uncheck that. Now, this is the most important. Go to levels tab. Now, on default, the headset mic, when I first programmed it, it was on 50. And when I noticed when I was using it with XSplit or the Elgato, I could barely hear my voice. And it wasn't an Elgato, it wasn't XSplit fault, but it was the headset mic level. So, please, please raise the volume to 100, because if you don't, then your voice is going to be really low. For some reason, the mic volume is low when it's at 50. So I'm going to go ahead and go to 100. Alright? So I leave it at 100 and it works great, guys. It works great. I've used it since Elgato and since XSplit. So it's good. Ever since I leveled up to 100. Because when it's 50, you can barely hear it. And there's also a microphone boost that you can use. Um, never really got a chance to use it, but it's there and you guys want to try it you guys go ahead now that's it now after that press ok to save the changes you can also rename it if you want I'm not I'm just leaving it like that and then it should work it should be checked here it should say default device it should be like this rising so you're good alright now press ok again to save your changes now you should be able to hear this, this stuff from your PC or hear your game audio from your headset. Mine right now, my PS4 is turned on, so I hear the PS4 sound coming through the headset. But I also hear my PC, like if I were to listen to a, a song or a YouTube video. Or the Elgato, for example, right here, that I, let me open it real quick. So this is my, P, my PS4, and I have it running in the background. So I hear this sound, and if I were to unmute this, I also am going to hear the sound coming from my PC. So, if you guys understand, I'm listening to my PC and I'm listening to my PS4. But, for you guys that will use the Elgato uh, software system, I usually, when I stream or record gameplay, I don't like to listen to this because I'm listening to my game audio coming from my PS4 and I'm listening to my party chat coming from my PS4 so I don't want to listen to this all you have to do is first of all mute it right here and then you're going to want to go to your speaker volume and lower it everything alright so this won't distract you from whatever sound is coming from your PC to and from what's coming from the PS4 so you won't be hearing to audios at the same time basically so but if you're that type of person that wants to hear your PC audio as well then just low, uh, rise the volume that's all you gotta do like 10 should be good you should be able to hear it at 10 but yeah guys um, that was that so now I'm gonna go ahead and show you something else alright guys so let me open up Elgato software again I wanna show you guys something else alright let's say for example you want to do live commentary with your headset. Well, in this case, you're not going to be able to because as you guys know, when you're in a party chat with the PS4 or when you're in a, a chat um, in game, you're not going to be able to chat with anybody because your mobile cable is really important. Until they release a patch um, PlayStation for the Bluetooth connectivity to work, then it's not going to work, okay? It's not like the PS3. The PS3, it will work because it's using Bluetooth connectivity. So you're talking to your friends through using Bluetooth, not the mobile cable. For the PS4, it's different because you're using the mobile cable 
And since right now our mobile key was connected to our PC, not our DualShock 4 controller, it's not going to work. Now, since my PX4 is, isn't connected to the DualShock 4, then I won't be able to party chat or talk to any of my friends. So, what I'm trying to get at is you you either have a choice you do one thing or you do another thing so you either do live commentary using the Elgato or another uh, let's say expert OBS or talk to your um, friends but it's a tough choice because if you do record your gameplay using the PX4 then you're not going to be able to talk to friends unless let me show you something this is what I want to get to so right now I have the headset mic right let me turn it on, commentary. Alright. So now it's working. I'm actually using the headset to record my voice if I were to stream or capture footage. But if you want to, um, let's say, uh, record your voice, live commentary, and talk to your friends, all you got to do is unplug your headset, mobile cable, from your PC. Unplug it. I'm not going to do it now because I'm not going to be able to talk to you guys. Unplug it and plug it into your controller, DualShock 4, and you're going to want to change your mic to a different thing. Let's do internal. My internal mic is my PC mic, so my voice is going to be picked up by my PC now. So this is my voice being picked up by my PC, so that's another solution that you can do as well. You can just use another mic. You don't have to necessarily use the PX4s. But until they release a patch for Bluetooth connectivity, then we're going to have to use another mic. And this is how I do it when I sometimes record while doing party chat. But remember, guys, this is only if you're in a party chat and you want to record. All right. And for the Xbox 360, it's the same thing. But for the PS3, you could do it. This will work doesn't matter if your mobile cable is connected to your PC. you still be able to talk to your friends. But this is only for 360 and PS4. Alright, guys? Alright. Now let's move on to the next thing. Alright, guys. Last thing I want to show you guys is this program called XSplit, which is free. You can download it on the XSplit official website. I'll have a link under the description video if you guys want to check that out. I want to show you this program because I want to show you what it can do. Now, there's... I'm going to open it. It's right here, this icon. I'm going to open it up and I'm going to show you the program. And I want to show you a feature that I love about if you do have premium. Premium, you have to pay. And I don't know exactly the prices, but it's not that much. But let's check it out. I've had it before. I Unfortunately, I don't have it right now. I don't have premium, but I have a free version. But let me just show you that you can add a Skype video. So since I don't have the service, I won't get it, but basically, where it says Skype, where it just Skype popped up, if I were to be, if I were to be on Skype right now with one of my friends, and I was talking to them, then their video would be here, and pretend that the Elgato is in the background, not my PC desktop, but the PS4 or the 360 or the Xbox One. So my gameplay will be playing in the background, and his camera would be here, and then my camera would be here, and then my overlay would be here. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I just want to show you guys that there is a way to do Skype video, and the key thing is that it's already set up. You don't have to do anything. Their voice is going to be heard, their webcam is going to be seen, but like I said, guys, this is actually a premium service, and you have to pay for it. But if you guys want to check that out, then go check it out. I'll have the link in the description, like I said. That's pretty cool. I used to use that, but you need to have good internet to be able to be able to stream and talk on Skype at the same time. Okay, one more thing, guys. I actually want to show you that I am listening to both audios from my game audio and my PC audio. So, as you guys can hear, the PS4 is in the background, and you guys can hear the PS4 sound on the headset. And my TV is on mute. So all the sound is coming to my headset. Now, make sure that the mobile cable is connected to your PC. Now, as you guys can see, I have my YouTube intro running 
So I'm going to play it and you guys are going to see that it is also going to play from the headset. Alright guys, so as you just saw, I am able to hear whatever is running in my PC on the headset and whatever sound my game is coming. I also want to point out that if you pair up your headset correctly, you're going to be able to hear it on your television screen as well. So let me raise the volume. And you guys can hear that my game sound is also running, can be run through the, my TV speakers. and my headset at the same time all right guys but anyways thanks for watching oh this video was really helpful and if you liked it thumbs up if you think it's one of my best favorite it and if you need to my channel subscribe if you enjoy my videos watch my past videos I've done plenty of videos and Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next vid.